Good day everyone. Welcome to our discussion for today. Okay, so our topic is all about bonds, stocks, and mutual funds. So what are these things? So let's find out. But before that, I'll only introduce to you our group members. So now I'll introduce to you the reporters for today. First, your Strolly, Daya E. Austria. Then, Regia N. C. Agustinus. Jamel N. Galindo. Jalesa M. Kanoy. And last but not the least, Rodel F. Choa. So later on, they are going to expound the discussion to their designated topics. But before we're going to discuss to you about bonds, stocks, and mutual funds, I will introduce first the investing. Those three are related to investing. Okay, so investing, how to make your money work for you. Okay, before that, I'm going to inform you that at the end of this report, everyone kind be able to know the different types of investment, distinguish their differences and purposes, and know the importance of investment. Okay, so subject layout. First, what is investing? Second, how does it work? Risk tolerance, know yourself. Types of investments. And that's all. So, now we're going to discuss about what is investing. So, the definition of investing is that it is the act of committing money or capital to an endeavor with an expectation of obtaining an additional income or profit. So, it means you can earn through investing, right? So, why is this important? So, letting your money work for you. And investing is not gambling, right? So, gambling is very familiar. So, why might it be important for you to invest? Now, so why invest? So, retirement. Would you like to retire early at all at your current lifestyle? So, pension programs. Employer puts money into a pool of funds that is invested in the employee's behalf. So, the back on uh, pension programs are thus for retired individuals. Okay? So, just like, for example, the teacher. Okay? So, ang teacher is, while she's working, uh, naghatag na siya sa... Ah, okay, it's a government like SSS. So, during the retirement, makuha na ang kanang mga funds which is considered as the pension programs. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. So, that's why it was called becoming a thing of the past. Alright. So, social security. Government program paid for by income tax and given to retirees or dis. Abled. Okay, so sabotable rin, no? Like, for example, our neighbor, uh, yes, I don't know if monthly ba, but she received for health. So, funds under pressure due to aging population in the U.S. So, why invest? Investing money now allows financial flexibility for your future yes so are the earlier you start investing the easier it will be able to establish a large amount of money okay so get sarah so it means uh while working so as soon as possible basta na alang tay kwarta so mas maayo good nga ato na lang i-invest for then guys so, gingon pa, the earlier you start investing, uh, it will establish a large amount of money. So, years by years, magkadaku ang kwarta. 
So, dili naka logi na nakay uh, considered as magamit na kwarta in the near future, right? Okay. So, knowing yourself, risk tolerance. So, okay. So, it is a measure of how much risk you can handle as an investor. Okay. So, factors which determine your risk tolerance. Amount of money you have to lose. Your time frame, emotional ability to handle risk, and the third one is to determine what kinds of investments you should pursue. Okay, so before tamo engage investment, much better nga ato sa ila ilahon, and then ato ban banaon what would be the possible risk. The risk is always possible, right? So, mas maayo nga mag-advance ta and then para ma-prevent na to ang possible nga kadakon sa risk. Okay? So, there is no right or wrong way to invest. Okay, right? So, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. So, my co-reporters will going to give a further discussion about each topic. Okay, so next reporter. Hello, ma'am. Hello, classmates. I am Jimel Galindo, part of Mam Daya's group. Now, my topic to discuss is all about stocks. And when we talk about stocks, this is most commonly used and we usually heard it if we talk about business. So, what is stocks? Stocks. It is a term used to describe the ownership certificates of any company. A share, on the other hand, refers to the stock certifi certificate of a particular company. And take note, holding a particular company's share makes you a shareholder. It is also called equities and shares. Stock Stocks are volatile, their value fluctuates frequently on a daily basis. Why do companies issue stocks? Well, it is to raise money. Still part of company, aka issuing stocks, equity financing. Do not have to pay money back or make interest payments. Shareholders make money when the stock is worth more than the pay. Why do stocks make money? You, as an owner, are entitled to a portion of the company's profit. Paid out in a form of dividends. A sum of money paid regularly by a company to its shareholders out of of profits or reserves. Then where is the risk? Well, the risk is if the company goes bankrupt, there are no assets to claim. Risk? Shareholders are not guaranteed any return if the company goes bankrupt. No guarantee that shareholders will receive dividend payments. With no dividends, investors make money only through an increase in stock price. The bright side? Stocks generally outperform other investments due to their higher risk. Historically, Stocks average 10 to 12 return or 12 percent returns. Two main types of stocks. One is common stocks. Two preferred stocks. A common stocks. It is a type of stock issued to the majority of shareholders in a company. Holders of common stock enjoy certain rights that their counterparts 
and preferred stockholders do not. Rather than receiving regular pay payouts, common stockholders derive value from their shares when the company grows. Number two, preferred stock. Preferred stocks are hybrid securities that have the characteristics of both bonds and stocks. Preferred stocks have dividend priority over common stocks. The holder of preferred shares receive dividends before the holders of common shares. Preferred stockholders generally do not have voting rights in the company. Companies also customize different classes of stock in any way they would like. Reasons for this may include wanting voting power to remain with certain people. Traditionally noted as Class A, Class B, and etc. Most stocks are traded on exchanges. Physical. This is trade or carried out on a trading floor. It means physically trade by exchanging face to face in a trading ground through appointments. Virtual. It is composed of a network of computers. Then, when we say virtual, morning, it means through the power of technology. And it's usually exchanged by using authorized account from the different trading personnel. Purpose of the stock market. Facilitate the exchange of securities between buyers and sellers. Reduce risk of investing because it brings buyers and sellers together. So that's all. This is all my reports. And next reporter, please. Good morning, mom. Good morning, classmates. So I am Julesa Imkane. So first, we have two different kinds of market, which is primary market and secondary market. So what is primary market? So first is primary market. So primary market securities are created and stock are initially issued through IPO. So IPO or initial public offering is kaninga trade is gra provide bitaw ni siya opportunity sa mga investors nga naabitaw sila securities like for example kan bitaw contract nga na then kini sang IPO kay naa ni siyang IPO if ang private company is first time bitaw siya mag-issue og stock adto sa public then the secondary market investors trade previously issued stock so more than siya ang what people refer to when talking about the stock market trading of a companies does not directly involve that companies so the secondary market is commonly referred to as a stock market so this includes the new york stock exchange or nyse nasdaq and all major exchanges around the world the defining characteristics of the security market is that investors trade among themselves so kaning secondary market if ang investors bitaw if ang investor is mag issue siya og securities kay dili na siya dili na kinahanglanon pa nga napay involvement is na involvement sa usa sa kompanya like for example nato kag Amazon nagpalit og mga stock so you are dealing only with another investor who owns shares in Amazon so Amazon is not directly involved with that transaction so why do stock prices change so maybe is gausab usab ang stocks and 
mao ang prices, paspas ang yahang pag-usap, then fundamentally, supply and demand determine the price of stocks. Earnings predominantly investors' evaluation of stocks, but there are other factors. Lastly is, there is no one theory that can explain stock prices. So, next is, there are two ways to buy stocks. Through a brokerage. So, most common, full-service brokers expensive but manage your account. Discount brokerages less expensive and provide less assistance. So, ang brokerage is mauni siya ang middleman nga mag-connect bitaw sa buyer o sa seller para makomplete ang transaction para sa stock shares, bonds, and other financial instruments. So, mauna siya ang brokerage. So, next is the DRIPs and DIPs. So, dividend reinvestment plans and direct investment plans allow shareholders to purchase stock directly from the company. So, next is buying stocks through a brokerage. Step 1. Obtain a stock quote. This shows the bid price and the offer or asked price. Step 2. If you are interested in buying a stock, you make a bid. If you are interested in selling a stock, you would submit an offer or an ask. Step 3. When a bid and offer match, a trade occurs. So, what do the bid, the bid and ask prices mean in a stock code? So, so bid and ask prices are market terms representing supply and demand for a stock. So, the bid represents the highest price someone is willing to pay for a share. Then, the ask is the lowest price where someone is willing to sell a share. The difference between a bid and ask is called the spread. A stock quoted price is the most recent sale price. So, this is an example. So, how to read a stock table or stock code? First is weak high and low price. Highest and lowest prices stock has traded at in 52 weeks. Then, next is company name and the type of stock with no symbols following company name. Stock is a common stock. Then, the ticker. Ticker alphabetic name unique to the stock that identifies in on exchanges then next is dividend per share annual dividend payment per share then dividend yield annual dividends per share divided by price per share then the price to earning ratio current stock prices Divided by earnings per share from the last four quarters. Then the total number of shares traded for the day in hundreds. So next is daily high and low. Range of prices that stock has traded at throughout the day. Then the close. Last price traded at upon market closing for the day. Then the last is net change. Change in stock price in dollars from previous day's close. So next is how to value a stock. So it is very complicated and differs from person to person. So there are four principles impact value. First is supply and demand determine the price of stock from moment to moment. Second is, do not compare the value of individual stocks, rather compare values of companies. Multiply the value of a stock by the shares outstanding too. Earning are a major factor but they are not the only factor. And the last is, there is no 
one theory that can explain how stocks are valued. Okay, so good day. I am Regian Agustinis from BEID 1A. Okay, so bonds. An interest-bearing security that obligates the issuer to pay the bondholder a specified sum of money, usually at specific intervals, known as coupon, and to repay the principal amount of the loan at majority. So, it is a type of security in which obligates the issuer to pay the bondholder. Kaning issuer is maunyo siya ang borrower nga kinahalan mo bayad sa iyong utang sa kaning bondholder in a specified sum of money in the majority date as well as interest over specified specified amount of time. So, kanin sa ang bondholder is maunyo siya ang investor or the owner of the debt. Wait, what? A bond is basically a loan given by you to another entity which is paid back with interest over the life of the bond. So, kaning bond is usani ka debt security no given by you to another entity like for example, kaning borrower na atong makita sa image which is paid back with interest over the life of the bond. So, kaning another entity or kaning borrower Igbayad ani nila is na interest no kung unsa ang kagidugayon. Magkadugay ang utang, magkadako sad ang interest. Next is interest. Interest is paid throughout the bond life. So, money siya ang amount na imong bayaran throughout the bond life or at the term end or kung end na anak niya. Next is Principal. Principal is paid back at the end of the life of the bond. So, can you see ang principal? This is the total amount of the money borrowed or invested, not including any interest. Okay, so, when bond reaches its majority date, this is the time na mubayad na sa original sum you loaned or the principal together with final interest payment. So, as you can see in the image, there is a bond, the borrower, and etc. So, makita nga na ay bonds, and then, ang borrower is, of course, ni loan. And then, nagka-interest nagka payments until the term end. After ana, is kinahangalan na ka nga mubayad. Mubayad na ka nungad to sa leader. Okay, so, for example, your hometown decides to issue municipal bonds with a 100 phase of value to be paid back in 10 years. This bond will pay 2.5% per year. So, 100 pesos times 0.25 equals 2.50 pesos. So, kaning 100 is monisya ang face value na kinahalan bayaran, bayaran in 10 years. Then, Kaning 2.25 is mauna siya ang bond na kinangalan niya mong bayaran per year. 2.50 times 10 equals 25 pesos. So, kanisad ang 10 is mauna siya ang 10 years. Total paid back to you is 100 plus 25 equals 125 pesos. There are many different types of bonds. The U.S. Treasury bonds, it is showed by the U.S. government considered a safe investment. Agency bonds, is showed by agency of the U.S. government or government-sponsored enterprises. Next is municipal bonds, is showed by states, cities, countries, etc. to fund public projects. Cor corporate bonds issued by corporations. High yield bonds issued by entities that have a low investment grade. They have a weaker ability to pay back to the bond. General generally results in a higher interest rate and higher, higher yields. 
a grade given to a particular band that indicates a credit quality. So, I range from AAA, the highest rating, so manang highest rating, to C, or D called junk bands, the lowest rating. So, ang pinaka lowest na ratings is money siya ang C or D. Yun yung pinaka highest is money siya ang A. Private independent services provide ratings so indications may vary for the for the same rating. Major rating agencies in the US Moody's Standard and Proofs and Fits. So good day mom. I'm Rudolf Chuba. I'm going to discuss what is mutual fund and pooled fund. So first what is mutual fund? An investment vehicle that consists of a pool of funds contributed by many investors in order to invest in stocks, bonds, and other assets. And also, mutual fund is managed by money managers. Kung baga, um, mutual fund is, um, there is a mutual fund manager who take, takes decisions of your own money which is invested in mutual fund um, and for further explanation here's a, I have an um, example so it will collect the money for you and me um, assume that there are full of 100 people and that 100 people people giving fund to contribute some money to mutual fund and this mutual fund reinvest the money into the different different investment in organization like mutual fund can invest the equity so understand drama okay so the mutual fund can depends on no so and the advantage of mutual fund give small investors Access to professional investment helped by allowing them to invest in diversified portfolios. Disadvantages, advantage, advantage rather, fees which can limit profit. And in pool fund, a created investment for many individuals. Example, mutual fund, pension fund. So mutual fund is under of pool fund. And advantages of pool fund, economies of skill, lower trading costs, and professional management. Disadvantages, management, fees, capital gains are spread evenly among investors. What is best for the group may not be what is best for an individual. So, any sample sa... Uh, okay, and that's all. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Choa. Thank you, reporters, for a very informative discussion. Okay, so here we are now in the conclusion. So compounding allows your money to make money. Yeah, right? So it was already discussed lately about the multiplying of money through investing or compounding yeah that's it so there is no wrong way to invest so again what is risk tolerance so it is a measure of how much risk you can withstand as an investor and should be with considered when choosing an investment so in this way mahandol na sa investor uh, makaibaw na siya what will be the possible risk and then in that way mahandol na kung unsa ka dakon unsa ka gamay and then mapangandaman na sa investor ang possible na risgo so now you guys know already what are the differences among the three the bands stocks and mutual funds 
Okay, so these are the references of the information we get from different sources. We hope, guys, that we left you some ideas or knowledge for the near future and how to keep your money rise in different ways of investment. So that's all for today's discussion. Thank you so much for the attention.